Hi everybody. Today I am going to show you a new design that I'm going to call Class 5 Rapids. Um, here's my practice cord, so this is kind of what it looks like. Kind of hard to see. Um, got a lot of comments, both good and bad. Uh, just take it how it is. Um, I think with the colors that I'm choosing right now, with the yellow and the acid purple, I think it'll look a little better than what this one did. Um, so let's get started. I've got eight feet of acid purple, eight feet of yellow, and somewhere in there I fused the two together already. So I've got, there it is, I've got about 16 feet total. I don't think I'm going to use near all of it, but I, I wanted to be safe because the last one I did I was a little short. <laughs> okay, so got the buckle. We're just going to take our two ends, go straight down through the buckle from the top. They both go down through the same side of the buckle. Get about two, three inches out the back side. And then open up your long ends. Grab hold of your two short ends and then just pull. And what you want to do is you want to pull all of your slack out. I like to throw it off the table um, in the direction that you're pulling. That way when you pull it through you don't get all twisted. Alright, so that gives you your cow's hitch and that's what attaches your buckle and your paracord together. Now I'm going to flip the buckle over and run all the paracord through my fingers. And what this does, this gets all, all the uh, twists out of the paracord. And then we're going to take our buckle that's flipped, flip it back, and then go up through that hole. So you're going from the back to the front and pull everything through. There we go. Gives you two loops. This is your this is your basic bracelet that you're going to work off of. We can open this up. Now this is a little bit bulkier of a bracelet, but all the bulk of it is on the outside of the bracelet. So you shouldn't have to add too much to your measurement for this to fit. And when you're measuring, again, you always want to measure right to this ledge. Don't measure other stuff up here because this stuff is inside of the buckle. So measure right there from that ledge and go down to the edge of this one right here. And it sounds like my light is going to start buzzing at me again, so I'm going to shut that one off. Sorry about that. And let's get a little more light over here. That should help a little bit. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so I want this to be about 8 inch. Now we're right on the money. Okay. So to get this started, we're just going to do the regular old Solomon. So take your left cord over the center, over the center two strands, and off to the right side. Take your right cord over your left cord, go around the back, and up through that loop. And pull this tight, and then snug this up. Now after you get this snug, double check your measurement. Because once you go past this step, and start on your next step, you really can't adjust your measurement. I don't think it moved a whole lot on me though. It just got a, about an eighth of an inch longer, which is fine. All right, so to make this bracelet, what I wanna do is I wanna start with whatever color you took over the center, which is, in this case, the purple. So we're gonna create a, an S loop. So you have a loop here and a loop on the left side. Now this one gets kind of tricky, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. Alright, get that out of the way. I'm going to put all my slack up here on the table so it's not pulling. Alright, so what we're going to do, you're going to take your left cord over the center and go over top of everything. Now bring it around and up through this loop. Just like that. So all it's doing is going down around and up through the loop. Let me grab my end here. There we go. I had to use my teeth. <laughs> Alright, so now you want to take this end and just go underneath of that yellow one. The first yellow. And then go down through the middle. So open that up. Go down through the middle. And then bring it around and up through this loop. Ok, 
Okay. And then we're just going to start tightening this up. So the hardest part about this bracelet is the tightening. Somebody asked me yesterday if I would come out with some kind of difficulty scale for these bracelets that I do. I'm still thinking about how I want to do it. I think it's a good idea for beginners especially. So I just need to figure out how to do it. So on this all I did is figured out where the slack was at and worked it through the knot and pulled everything nice and tight. So this is about what you should have on your first tie. Now you're going to do the same thing but with the, the yellow now. So create your S loop. I'm going to get my slack here up on the table. Make it a little easier for me. Cross over everything with the other color. Take it underneath and up through that loop on the left. And you want to pinch everything. Make sure you're pinching everything. It keeps everything in place. Alright, so once you come up through that loop, you want to grab your end. I'm not going to use my teeth this time. Go under the purple, under your first cord that you took over top of everything. Go under that. Bring it down through the middle and then come up through that loop that's on the, on the right side. Pull everything through. Now I hope that this video shows you how nice of a color this this acid purple is because it, it really is hard to photograph and get the color to really show through its true color I guess. Um, so I hope that this video, I haven't done this color yet in a video, so I, I really wanted to get this one in here. Alright, so we're going to get this tight. Now, the slack here is closest to your last knot, so you always want to work the slack that's closest to the last knot out first. So we'll pull that through first, and then reach over here and you can pull that one through. And then you might want to go back and redo your first um, tightening job on that knot. There we go. And then just make sure everything's nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten this one. You might mess up your knot a little bit. Alright, I'm going to do... I'll do two more here. Try to keep this a short video for you guys. So we created the two loops. Cross over the center. Underneath and up through that loop. Grab my end there. Go under the first one, the first yellow. Take it down through the center. And then up through that loop. And then we can start tightening this. I like to tighten this first one right here first. It seems to come out a little better when you do that and then pinch it tighten that and you want to get this yellow you want to move all all of these pieces to kind of together there we go and then this is our first part where we have to tighten because it's closest to that knot so pull that through and then go to the other side and pull that through and there's a little bit of slack there. If you've got a marlin spike, or you can make your own out of a golf ball and a, um, a nail, that's a great way to make one. Um, marlin spike would probably help you out a little bit with this. Okay, one more, and then I'm going to finish this up. Alright, so S loop, cross over the center, go up through the loop. Grab your end, <laughs> you know what, I think I I went through the wrong loop. I was looking at that and I was like, wait a minute. Okay, so I'm sorry about that, I had to back up one step. Cross over, go under, and then up through the opposite side, just like that. 
grab your end here, cross under the first one, down through the center, and up through the loop. Yesterday I was breaking down some boxes and I got a nice paper cut right under my thumbnail. It wouldn't stop bleeding. It was a, it was a really good one. <laughs> I'm sure you wanted to know that. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh man, it's too early. I usually don't do videos until around 5 or 6 in the evening. It's about noon right now. Alright, get that tight. Get that tight. And that tight. Alright. Well, this one does take a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but I think it looks really good when it's done. It's definitely a little challenging. I would say out of five stars, challenging would be about a four, maybe a little more. Um, well, I'm going to finish this up, and I will be back. Okay, so I've got one... i got room for one more to do. Um, I think I can fit it in here. You want to go as far as you can, because if you get to the end of your your uh, bracelet, at, if you get the end of your knot, you have enough tight, you have enough uh, strength there that you can snip them right at the end of that. You don't have to do a Solomon to finish this. I hope that made sense. <laughs> Alright, so, this one doesn't take too long to do because each knot kind of moves far down the, uh, the bracelet as you go, so it doesn't take too long. It looks like this last one might be kind of tricky to get through the center. Oh, there we go. Alright, where's my loop at? There it is. Sorry, this one's kind of a, kind of a mess because we're right at the end. So I'm going to tighten this as best I can. There we go. Not too shabby. Alright, let's get this straightened out. I think I like it. Class 5 Rapids. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, so now at this point, what I need to do... So I started out with 8 feet. I've got about 3 or 4 feet left over of each color. Let's see here. That's about 1, 2... Yeah, I got about 3 feet there. So if you do six feet, I think you should be good, no matter what length you do. Six feet of each color. There we go. Oh no, where's my smoothing tool? Well, I don't know where my smoothing tool is, so I'm going to use the back of this cap here. Oh, I know where it's at. There it is. Alright, so when you cut this, you want to cut it about an eighth of an inch away from the bracelet. That way you have enough paracord to melt. If you're using a torch lighter, just be careful not to melt the, the surrounding colors. There we go, nice and smooth. Well, there it is. I'm going to post this up on the Paracord on Facebook group. That is the Class 5 Rapids. I think it turned out pretty cool. A lot of people didn't like this one, but I think with these new colors it kind of highlights the pattern a little bit better. But uh, check out facebook.com slash group slash paracordon. That's where I am, and that's where the group is. So they post all their stuff, so you'll see this along with other stuff, and lots of other stuff actually. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and until next time, paracordon.